Hello and welcome to the European Rugby Champions Cup 2017-2018 Round 1 predictions brought to you by Driving Mall. Hi, I'm Paul, the guy behind Driving Mall, and thank you very much for joining me. Um, yes, the big daddy of competitions, or of club competitions, is back um, with a banger. We have got some great clashes coming up. Uh, it's going to be really interesting because a number of teams aren't really perform haven't really found their feet yet this season. I mean, Wasps sat sit in tenth in the Premiership. You look um, look over the top fourteen. You've got Racing down in eighth, Clermont in ninth. Um, sides that make it uh, towards the end of these competitions, um, and even in the Pro Fourteen, you've got Ospreys uh, who are in this competition competition last in their pool so um, there are some teams that have not found their feet yet uh, in this competition uh, obviously this is the this is the people from the top half of the European uh, domestic leagues of Viva Premiership top four um, top 14 and obviously the pro 14 as well with the exception obviously of uh, Benetton Treviso who get in as being the only Italian side that's the last time from next season onwards every team will have to qualify on their rankings not just on the country that they come from so let's break let's have a look at the games um, and see uh, how i think they'll go uh, if you want to have a preview then um, check out um, i've done a preview already so you can check that out on youtube or on my website drivingmall.com um, and catch that um, as well but anyway let's get on to the predictions the weekend or the round kicks off with ulster hosting wasps Ulster are a side that I find always that, that, that sort of disappoint me in this competition. I expect great things and they never quite deliver. Wasps, on the other hand, as I've just said, are 10th at the moment in the Viva Premiership. They need two wins um, out of their six games, whereas Ulster are in much better form, having had five wins um, out of their six games. So, over in the Pro 14. So, uh, I, even though I say Ulster do tend to disappoint, um, I'm going to back Ulster by five in that one. Next up, a real, really good clash over in Dublin, Leinster will be hosting Montpellier. Um, Leinster had a good start to this season. Again, five wins and one loss so far. That loss down in South Africa, um, which had some issues um, because of uh, visas and all sorts of stuff. Uh, and I think they also rested some players. Montpellier um, sat third in the top 14 with five wins and two losses. So going well as well. Um, I say, if you're trying to catch a game, this is probably one of the better ones of the round to catch. Um, I'm going to back Leinster in that one um, by three. I say it should be a cracker. Um, next up, Racing host Leicester Tigers. Now, Racing, um, I say, sat mid-table, um, eighth with um, three wins and four losses. Have been a bit of a mess. It's going to come down to whether Dan Carter's back. I think he might be. Um, and I think he, he'll need to, to sort of uh, bring some structure to them. Leicester, four wins and two losses. But those two losses, I think, were the first two games they've, they've picked up. Um, and uh, again, a great European pedigree. Uh, haven't quite lived up to their, to, to their history um, over the last couple of years. Um, but maybe coming back to some of their better um, better uh, selves over the next, uh, maybe this season, next season. Uh, anyway, um, I think Racing, with all of the money they've thrown at their side, need to, uh, need to click and need to come good when it matters, which is now in this competition. Um, so I'm backing Racing by five, uh, but there could be an upset on the cards there because Racing, as I have not been great this season. Quinns then host La Rochelle. Quinns are one of these sides that does really well at home. Um, not so good away. Uh, three wins and three losses shows you that in the Premiership so far. La Rochelle, um, a great story last season as they went really well. Uh, one of the smaller, uh, historically smaller, not performing clubs in uh, France. Um, but going well again this season, so it was no shock. Up in fourth place with five wins um, and two losses. Um, to me, I think they're probably still uh, going to be focusing more on their domestic uh, competition than they are on this one. Um, if you look at how, to, how Toulon came through and won this, this, this competition back-to-back, -back, it was after they'd, they'd sealed themselves domestic success first. And I think La Rochelle will probably follow a similar pattern. Therefore, I think La Rochelle might rest a few players. Harlequins are good at home. I'm backing Harlequins by three. Easiest pick of the round as Bath host Benetton Treviso. Sure, Bath um, have been up and down. 1-4, lost two. Um, uh, but Benetton Treviso and Benetton Treviso are doing better than normal. Um, let's be honest, three wins and three losses. Um, there is a bit of a renaissance in Italy at the moment. Um, but even so, you've got to say that Bath should win this one quite comfortably. I'm backing Bath by 10. Next, another great clash um, in this competition. Exeter Chiefs, Aviva Premiership champions. Uh, four wins, two losses, sat second in the Aviva Premiership at the moment against Glasgow. The only unbeaten side in the European competitions uh, so far this season with six wins and no losses. This so again, uh, along with that Lens again, this one should also be a really good clash to catch. Uh, I'm backing Exeter by three. 
purely on home advantage. Um, I think Glasgow at home would definitely would, would be favourites of this one. You know, Travelling all that way down south, um, I think they're going to uh, they may may find it's, it's going to be a battle. They can win this one definitely. They have the players, they have the ability. Uh, it's going to be who turns up on the day. Good old cliche there, um, pulled out of the cliche bag. Um, next up, uh, moving on to well, it's Monday for me. It'll be Sunday for you guys. Castra um, hosting uh, uh, Munster. Castra down in eleventh place of the French top fourteen. Munster going well this season again with four wins and two losses. Uh, puts them second in their conference. Munster, historically uh, very good in this competition. Um, I'm expecting them to pick up an away win over in France. So Munster by three. Next up, Toulon um, host Scarlets. Scarlets, again, uh, top top conference B in uh, Pro 14. Five wins, one loss. Toulon uh, down in sixth. Uh, not as bad as some of the other teams uh, in the top 14 with four wins and three losses. Um, but still a bit shaky. And they're not the team that they used to be. This is definitely one of the ones that, that, that we could see an upset. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for the upset. And so I'm picking Scarlets by one. So clearly, I'm not that confident. It's, it is, I am going for the upset, though. Uh, and I think uh, they sh- um, this should, could be the coming of age for this Scarlet side. Back to you, back to England and all of the Premiership um, game. Northampton Saints hosting Saracens, and uh, you've got to say Saracens have beat um, Saints earlier uh, in the earlier this season already. Um, that was at home, mind you, um, 55-24. So a convincing win. Uh, I think they're going to back that up and win again. And I'm backing Saracens by 10. And finally, Ospreys host Clermont. Um, Ospreys, one of the biggest underachievers so far this season with only one win um, and five losses, sitting last in their conference in the Pro 14. Clermont, again, a side that, again, hasn't gone well so far. Ninth in the top 14, three wins, four losses. But you've got to say, um, all that big money signings, uh, Clermont should turn up on the day and expecting them to beat an off-tune um, Ospreys by seven. Always up for good rugby chats and let me know your comments below. Um, do subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, so that you get all of my uh, predictions for this competition going forwards. And also uh, sign up for the newsletter or sign up for the newsletter again so it comes drops straight into your email. And so you can catch all those predictions written down on the drivingmall.com. Uh, and so uh, if you haven't um, managed to scroll them now while you've been listening, uh, have a great time. Enjoy whatever rugby you're watching this weekend. Uh, and uh, let's hope it's as good as this competition has been historically.